So we start here with our solo model in steady state. And the way we know this is in steady state, right, is that it's where these two lines are crossing. But make sure these two lines are the overall amount of investment, which is our savings times our production, and also the amount of investment that's needed to stay in steady state. So we're replacing the depreciated amount, and we're also adding enough to cover all of the population. When these two cross, that's where they're equal. So the amount of actual investment is equal to the investment needed to stay in steady state. So this level of K, we can now put a star on it saying this is our steady state of capital. Let's look at a change though. What happens in this case if we see an increase in overall total factor productivity, an increase in technology? Well, that's gonna be right here. So that'll be an upward shift of this per worker production function multiplied by the savings rate. So S A F of K, let's put a prime there. So we'll say A prime is greater than regular A. So it's an increase, it's an upward shift of this. Nothing else has changed. So again, we say, okay, well, what happens, right? What happens if this level of capital were to stay the same, right? So in the next period, like nothing's changed yet. It hasn't been a convergence yet. This level of capital stays the same. Well, what do we notice, right? We notice that the level of savings now, the level of actual investment is higher than what's needed. So it means this must start to grow. And where does it grow to? It grows to the new, right? Our new steady state, which is gonna be way up here. And so there's some level of cap. We'll just have to kind of draw right over this one to show that this is my new K star, and it's just a higher level of capital with this increase in technology. So we can see that we start to see overall growth, right? Because if capital increases, we know that if capital increases, my capital per labor increases, then my output per label will increase. So I am starting to see some overall sustained growth, but we need to have this increase in uh, technology. And that's what the solo model tells us is we need an increase in technology to see that sustained economic growth.